You two know each other? Charlie, what the hell are you doing here? Monkbat, what are you doing here? Is he your new assignment? No! I just wanted to make sure he was enjoying himself. I'm fine. A little crispy though, but I'm fine. Shut up! No one's talking to you. Okay, how do you two know each other again? This is death. So I've heard. And I'm sure you've already met Admiral Douche. That's not nice. Nice? I'm fucking death! I don't have a nice bone in my body and that's all I've got is bones. Aw, does someone need a hug? You touch me and that burn becomes permanent. Okay, uh, no need to be so grim about it. Oh, that's not funny. I thought so. Shut up. You don't even know how to think. I think. Neither do you. What the f- Hold on, I gotta take this. What's his malfunction? Death doesn't like stupidity. So you must have known him a while to make him this mad. You really are a dumbass. Thank you for calling After Life Incorporated. Nadine speaking. How may I direct your call? Who was the brain dead maniac that decided to stick me with the dumbest piece of shit on the planet? And his buddy. Now, now, sir. There's no need to be so grim about things. Okay, enough with the puns. You're not out of reach. Sir, I understand that dying is something that you've never experienced before. Are you stoned? I experience death every day. I know that that man seemed like every day was the last day of your life, but it wasn't. Death is a new and exciting feeling for some, and you need to just- What are you, stupid? Did someone put a sign up that said, Noobs come here? Ah, uh, you were a gamer in your former life. What? Well, I'm sorry to inform you that there is no respawn time. What? Did you save your progress before you quit? Quit what? Your life. Did you save before you quit your life? I didn't quit my life. For a fee, we can reload your game to its last save point. Make one more gaming reference, and I stick you in a room with Mobo. It sounds like someone needs a Proximity alert. There is an unknown vessel entering containment block C. Proceed into the defense mode. Alright, this will give us a chance to test out the defense protocols. Computer, activate pride med. Never mind. What in the hell? Never mind. I don't want to know. Good, because I didn't want to explain. What's burning? You mean besides me? Yeah. Oh, nothing. We had a small fire, but it's taken care of. Whatever. Has Simon called yet? Nope. Okay, look, I'm going to go take a shower. If anyone calls, just tell them I'll call them back when I get out. Wait a minute. What? That smell. It's a little too... Girl. Yeah, I met someone and she was a girl. Are you sure she was a girl? I mean- Yes, I'm sure. I do not like this. Your involvement with the opposite sex has led us to downfall before. That was then, this is now, I'm taking a shower. Hello? Little privacy here? Who in the hell are you? It's Santa! What the hell? Okay, someone's got some explaining to do. And now. Ooh, I know what happened. Here, all of a sudden these penguins from Alaska and Canada started teaming up and invading. They were like dive bombing and like planes and robot spaceships. And all of a sudden, I was like, bam, bam, bam. I was like, grabbing my gun and the penguins are like, bam, bam, you'll never stop us. Cover. And they're like, ah. And I'm like, ah. And then all of a sudden there's these big car pile ups. And then this big English chick arrived and like, that's a she-male! And I was like, bam, bam! And then you left. We all thought we were being betrayed and stuff. And it was like, ah! Then Santa Claus showed up. We thought it was on our side, but no. He came in and started attacking me. And I'm like, you're not Santa. And he's like, yes I am. I'll show you. And then he punched me in the face and called me stupid. So then I got tired and went to make a muffin in the microwave. That's when it exploded and you showed up. Now would you like the non-stupid version? Ever? <laughs>